Manurani. Welcome to my house. Please come in. Architects was the designer and contractor behind this project. We wanted the house to feel warming and inviting, so I'm very excited to finally be able to tell you the design behind my home. So we are at my foyer. This foyer is nature inspired. We have this big, beautiful agate painting. It's so intricate, and when I see it, I feel relaxed and grounded. And we also couple it with marble table lamps and coral decorations. All of these natural elements bringing a calming atmosphere. So the house is an open plan design. Carpets becomes an important aspect in our home to zone out the different spaces. So we picked these Turkish rugs ourselves because we wanted something rich and colorful. This is mosaic panels. They are made by local artists. It's a sustainable choice because it has a lower carbon footprint. Since this house is trying to achieve a zero carbon design, every materials that we chose are picked carefully. So this is my formal living room. This is where I invite guests and clients to come over and have meetings. When I first walked in into this house, I felt very lucky to have it because the back of the house is facing the east. The existing house ends right here. So we broke down the wall and opened up the space and now our whole house is benefiting from morning light. Uh, sunlight are very good to energize and lift mood. So if you live here, you'll always be in a good mood. This is my study area where I work. I want to tell you the design philosophy behind this home. It's about visual connectivity that creates emotional bond. So when I work here, I can watch over my son who's playing downstairs and I can talk to him and watch over him without the need to call or shout. So it's like there is no physical barrier between us. Here I have some quirky objects and beautiful vases. One of my favorite thing is this Beauty and the Beast rose my husband got me. It says semangat mah kerjanya and I think it just reminds me of my childhood. Another thing that I love is this metal sculpture. It reminds me of my father who's really important to me and this atom-like structure just reminds me of his ESQ model. So the last thing I want to show you is my bachelor degree certificate. They make it so beautiful and I think it just suits the theme of my bookcase. It's gold and dark. So I went to Perth for my bachelor degree and as soon as I graduated there, I met my husband in Indonesia. Soon we went to Liverpool to continue our masters. There I took sustainable architecture design. I think it's very important to focus on sustainability because global warming is real, guys. Now let's go upstairs. Bedroom. I like this Japanese architect's philosophy about kids needing a little bit of danger. It's okay for them to fall a little, stumble a little so that they can learn. So this bedroom becomes an active play space we can interact with. One of my 
favorite paintings. I bought this in Liverpool Christmas Market when I lived there. It's the skyline of Liverpool. It has liverbirds all around them. My son was born there, so I think this painting just fits right into his room. This is the kids' bathroom. It's still the same concept. It's colorful and playful. We style the bathroom using visual stimulus art. They have intricate details in them. It's good to train the eyes and the brain. So this is our master's bedroom. The design is clean and simple. We use earthy colors and neutral tones. And this is the his and hers chair. So at night when my son is already asleep, I would just read my book with my blanket on and I think it's just a nice peaceful moment for me. This is our closet. We wanted the design to be open and spacious because we want to be able to appreciate of what we have. We also use this mirror ceiling. It's to reflect light so that the space feels bigger. In our dressing room, we have our vision board put up. My dad taught me it's about law of attraction, so when I have my goals laid here, every time in the morning I get dressed up, I can review my goals and set my brain to reach my goals. This is the master's bathroom. We wanted it to be light and airy. We designed a big window next to the bathtub. And in the morning when the sunlight comes in, the bamboos filter the light and it gives out just a beautiful light. I don't know why I'm doing this time, I must be blind. I guess I couldn't trust you, cause all you did was lie. Oh no, I have to. Now let's go downstairs. Cause of you. In the ground floor area we want to show you the guest room and the bathroom right there this is the guest room we designed it to be funky but also warming we use these puzzle like elements and when natural light hits them they seem to be in different tones that changes throughout the day we also like to call this room the garden room because the room is facing the backyard and we planted these jasmine flowers in front of the room the reason behind it is that psychologically, jasmine flowers help for a prolonged sleeping. This is the guest bathroom. It's dark, moody, and it has a hotel vibe. This is the laundry area. Since doing laundry can be boring, I have incorporated playful elements in this room. We use this rich tiling, terrazzo tabletop, and also installing different types of handles. I've also put up some laundry care art prints because sometimes you don't know what those symbols mean and you can just relate to this picture. So this is the kitchen. I was very particular on choosing the grains of wood. All of our equipments are energy and water efficient 
and we've designed these spices racks where I keep all of my toppings and snacks and I think the design just makes this kitchen feel homey and personal So this is my dining area here I have my favorite lighting fixture. It's a combination of geometrical and also natural. Behind the table, I have this art wall. It's a combination of photographs I took throughout the year. I love architecture. And one of my favorite photo is this one of Liverpool. It just brings me back good memories. the family area where we spend most of our time in this is where I normally sit I love this big piece of artwork I think it's important to have a big piece of artwork in any interior space to elevate the space I brought this in from my childhood home in Bali I was born there and I spent half of my childhood before I moved to Australia in middle school I think moving to different countries just taught me to love who you are and be proud of who you are. So this space has a view of tropical garden and I love when the door opens up and blur the boundaries between outdoor and indoor. I think one of the things that make this home special is this marble wall right here. When I went looking to marble warehouse, I instantly fell in love with this piece. I think the design successfully made the space feel grand and comfortable. Now I will show you the garden. So this is the landscape that I designed. The concept is four-layer tropical garden. We use different heights of plants to make it organic. Uh, my favorite tree is this Pohon Pisang Kipas. Since I was little, I've always wanted it. And it was the first tree that I appreciate the beauty of. And that is all that I want to tell you about my house. Thank you for coming. I hope you feel welcome. See you in my other projects. Bye!